Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Real News TV. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for me and the bell beside it so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. Thank you guys and remain on this video. Olori Naomi had recently reviewed some shocking news about she and the honor of Ife getting back together. A lot of questions has been going on a lot of news has been, you know, moving around. And um, it seems uh, Queen, Queen Naomi has been quiet about this whole thing. So now she had finally said something. We all, uh, if you've been following Queen Naomi's updates, you will know that she anchored um, a women's conference recently. And she made a shocking statement, if you listened very well, that she and the honor of Ife, she made a stylish, you know, passage that she and the only of Ife are still very good together and they are still very much married. For people that are saying that Queen Naomi and the only of Ife are no longer married, they are still very much married. And she, and throughout the conference, she was referred to as Mrs. Ogunsi. Like she was referred to, not only a queen, but she was referred to as Mrs. Ogunsi, which shows that she is still very much married to the owner of Ife. So people that are always tagging Queen Naomi, ex-wife to the king. I don't know where you, you guys are getting your news about the ex-wife oh, because she only left the palace. She did not um, divorce Oni of Ife or they did not do anything of such. So, and um, she and the Oni of Ife have never for one day come out to tell you guys that they are divorced. She only said she does not want to be the queen of the palace anymore, that she wanted fresh hair, that she's now the, she's still the queen of the, peop of the people, which means that she is still very much married to the king, but she does not want to stay in the palace because of um, uh, the issues best known to them. So, why am I saying this now? Queen Naomi, and um, she made a statement showing that Oni of Ife is still her husband and she's not in any reason getting married to a new person or trying to um, say that she is not married to the king. Yes. And when asked why she is still interested in the marriage, even though Queen, uh, the, the king has married a lot of women, well, now that one shocked me. Queen Naomi... That, that was what I, I even realized that Queen Naomi is even in support of Oni of Ife marrying more wives. It was recently that I realized that she is in support of the king marrying more wives. At a point in time, she revealed that she advised the king to marry more wives because it will help to stop a lot of embarrassment. Since he's a man that cannot stay with one woman. Yes, he promised her that she is going to be the only wife. But how can she be the only wife when he has other women outside? It doesn't make a difference. So, in that aspect, she advised the king, which she can, which, which she can say with her full chest, that she advised the king that if he wants to marry more wives, he can go ahead. Instead of keeping them as um, concubines, baby mamas, girlfriends, it is embarrassing to her and to him also as a king. Because people are, be are, are becoming to downgrade his, um, his position. So she said that she advised her husband to take more wives if that will make him happy. So that, and also she is still standing by the word that she said that Women, we are not the problem. Marrying other, uh, other women, we are, we are not the problem in her home. She was never a woman that said that you are going to marry me and me alone, even though that was what she, the, the king promised her. But what made her feel so much embarrassment was the way the women were attacking her. She was not getting herself worth as a queen. The embarrassment was becoming too much. So, and now people are going to ask, is leaving your house the best way to handle such embarrassment? Because she leaving her house is like a way to open doors for them to come and, you know, sit, 
grease her bed and every other thing. But she had made up her mind that she is not going back to the palace of the Oni of Ife. And she has gotten her, um, she is going to still be married to the king, but in a separate household. Well, she knows what is, be what is best for her. So many people were saying that Queen Naomi is taking this decision because of um, she has a son for the king. That is why, because of she knows that she had a, a, the, the king in a spot where he cannot res, uh, refuse any of her offer. That is why she is talking like this. Well, I we have to come to that. Who would not take such um such um uh, laws? Like who 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 will not pass such order? Because a lot of we of women face some kind of embarrassment in their home and they cannot say it out because of they want to live for the for for the, for the children so it's better you live away from the palace or from the home than living where you will not have peace of mind the best thing in life is for everybody to stay where they will have peace of mind because without peace of mind you will age easily Peace of mind brings the depression and every other kind of um, health issues like high blood pressure. If you don't have peace of mind, you will start developing all these things gradually. And high blood pressure does not start like a, a it doesn't just come up in a day. It is a gradual process. It accumulates. Most women now that are suffering from it, it is one problem or the other, especially in marriages. So I give kudos to this lady that she is still giving her marriage a second chance because second chance is allowed. But when it is being abused, you can now do whatever you want to do. I am so happy to hear the news from them that they are still together. And I pray that God will continue to give them their heart desire by giving them more, ch more children. Since she has come to terms to accept that her husband can marry other wives. That is all I have to tell you guys in um, this video. Bye-bye.